Top 8 New Termux Hacking Tools for 2024 What's up everyone, it's Linus back with another video and today we're diving deep into the world of ethical hacking with Termux. We've got a lineup of 8 brand new tools that are going to change the game for penetration testing and vulnerability analysis. Whether you're a seasoned pro or just starting out in the cybersecurity world, these tools are going to give you the edge you need to stay ahead of the curve. We're talking next-level network scanning, advanced social media analysis, even ways to tap into your phone's hardware for testing. But before we jump in, remember, these tools are for ethical hacking and educational purposes only. Now let's get into it. First up, we're kicking things off with Wi-Fi Pumpkin 3, and let me tell you, this tool is a beast when it comes to Wi-Fi security testing. Imagine this, you're a network admin, and you need to test how vulnerable your company's Wi-Fi is to phishing attacks. Wi-Fi Pumpkin 3 lets you set up a fake access point, a rogue AP, that looks totally legit to unsuspecting users. They connect, thinking they're on the office Wi-Fi, and boom, you can see their traffic. We're talking intercepting login credentials, website activity, the whole nine yards. Want to test if your company's security awareness training is working? Inject a fake phishing page and see who takes the bait. It's like having a real-time simulation environment for all sorts of man-in-the-middle attacks. That's why it's crucial to only use Wi-Fi Pumpkin 3 on your own networks or systems where you have explicit permission for testing. Ethical hacking is all about responsible disclosure and making the Internet a safer place, not exploiting vulnerabilities for malicious purposes. So, use Wi-Fi Pumpkin 3 wisely, my friends, and let's move on to the next tool in our arsenal. Next up, we've got Ngrok, and if you're serious about penetration testing, this tool is about to become your new best friend. Ngrok creates secure tunnels to your local host. Imagine you're developing a web application on your local machine, and you want to test it as if it were live on the internet. Ngrok lets you do just that by creating a public URL that forwards traffic to your local server. This is huge for penetration testing. Let's say you're working with Metasploit, Ngrok lets you expose it to the internet securely, allowing remote penetration tests and simulations. Whether you're testing a web app, setting up a webhook, or exposing a local server for collaboration, Ngrok has got you covered. Just a few commands, and you'll have your secure tunnel up and running. Let's talk about Recon Eng, the OSINT powerhouse for next-level information gathering. OSINT stands for Open Source Intelligence, collecting data from public sources. Think social media profiles, company websites, public records. Recon Eng automates this, making it easy to gather valuable information. Build profiles, map networks, or gather background info for penetration tests. Its modular design is a standout feature. Each module extracts specific information from different sources. Need an email address? There's a module for that. Want to see company websites? There's a module for that too. Recon Ang organizes data into comprehensive reports for actionable insights. For serious OSINT, Recon Ang is your go-to tool. Chapter 4. AirSnort, Cracking the Code of Web Security Let's talk about a classic tool that's still relevant in today's world of Wi-Fi security, AirSnort. While newer encryption protocols like WPA2 and WPA3 have become the standard, You'd be surprised how many networks out there are still running on the outdated web encryption. AirSnort is a tool that specializes in analyzing and cracking web encryption. It works by passively capturing packets transmitted over the network and then using statistical analysis to recover the encryption keys. You launch the tool, specify the target network, and let it run in the background. AirSnort will capture the data packets, analyze them, and alert you if it successfully recovers the web key. This is crucial for ethical hackers and penetration testers because it allows you to identify weaknesses in Wi-Fi setups and demonstrate the importance of using strong encryption protocols. However, it's important to remember that using AirSnort against networks you don't have permission to test is illegal and unethical. Always ensure you have proper authorization before using this tool and use it responsibly to improve Wi-Fi security, not compromise it. Chapter 5. IP Geolocation. Tracking the Digital Footprints. In the world of cybersecurity, knowing the physical location of an IP address can be incredibly valuable. That's where IP geolocation comes in. 
a tool that allows you to pinpoint the geographical location of an IP address with surprising accuracy. Imagine you're investigating a series of cyber attacks and you've managed to track down the IP addresses of the attackers. IP geolocation can help you determine their physical location, which can be crucial for law enforcement or further investigation. Or let's say you're conducting a security audit for a company with multiple branches worldwide. IP geolocation can help you identify any unauthorized access attempts originating from suspicious locations. It's like having a digital detective on your side, helping you track down malicious activity. However, it's crucial to remember that using IP geolocation for any purpose that violates someone's privacy or is against the law is strictly prohibited. Always use this tool ethically and responsibly, and be mindful of the potential implications of tracking someone's physical location based on their IP address. Chapter 6. Black Track Infiltrating Networks Like a Pro Get ready to dive into the world of network infiltration with Black Track, a powerful tool designed for ethical hackers and penetration testers who need to assess the security of complex networks. Now, BlackTrack is not for the faint of heart. It's a comprehensive tool that requires a solid understanding of networking concepts and security principles. But for those who dare to venture into its depths, BlackTrack offers a treasure trove of features for network scanning, vulnerability assessment, and even exploitation simulation. One of the standout features of BlackTrack is its ability to perform automated network reconnaissance. You feed it a target IP address or range, and BlackTrack goes to work, scanning for open ports, identifying services running on those ports, and even attempting to fingerprint the operating systems of connected devices. This information is crucial for building a comprehensive map of the target network and identifying potential weaknesses. However, it's absolutely critical to remember that using BlackTrack against networks you don't have permission to test is illegal and unethical. Always ensure you have proper authorization before using this tool and use it responsibly to improve network security, not compromise it. Chapter 7. Instabuster Unmasking Social Media Vulnerabilities In today's digitally connected world, social media has become an integral part of our lives. But with the convenience of social media comes the responsibility of ensuring the security of our accounts. And that's where Instabuster comes in, a tool specifically designed to test the security of Instagram accounts. Instabuster works by performing brute force attacks on Instagram accounts. A brute force attack essentially involves trying different password combinations until the correct one is found. Instabuster automates this process, allowing researchers and security professionals to test the strength of passwords and identify accounts that might be vulnerable to attacks. It's important to note that Instabuster should only be used on your own Instagram accounts or accounts where you have explicit permission from the account owner. Using this tool against other people's accounts without their consent is illegal and unethical. The goal of Instabuster is to raise awareness about social media security and encourage users to adopt strong passwords and enable two-factor authentication to protect their accounts from unauthorized access. Chapter 8. Termux API – Unleashing the Power of Android Hardware Finally, let's talk about a set of utilities that takes Termux to a whole new level. Termux API. This is where things get really interesting because Termux API allows you to interact directly with your Android device's hardware, opening up a world of possibilities for ethical hacking and penetration testing. Imagine this. You're conducting a security assessment and you need to access the device's camera to take a picture or record a video discreetly. Termux API lets you do just that, directly from the command line. Need to get the device's GPS coordinates or access sensor data like accelerometer readings? Termux API has got you covered. It's like having a Swiss army knife of tools at your disposal, allowing you to interact with your Android device in ways you never thought possible. Want to send SMS messages, make phone calls, or even access the device's clipboard programmatically? Termux API makes it all possible. However, it's crucial to remember that with great power comes great responsibility. Always use this tool responsibly and ethically, and be mindful of the potential privacy implications of accessing sensitive device information. And there you have it. Eight incredible Termux tools that are going to revolutionize the way you approach ethical hacking and penetration testing in 2024. From network scanning to social media analysis, and even tapping into your device's hardware, 
These tools give you the power to uncover vulnerabilities and strengthen security like never before. Remember, knowledge is power, and the more you know about these tools and how to use them responsibly, the better equipped you'll be to protect yourself and others from cyber threats. If you found this video helpful, be sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel for more awesome cybersecurity content, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on future uploads. Stay safe, stay ethical, and I'll see you in the next one.